Hey everybody, this is Rick, or Apocalypse Rat from the forums. I just got my Reaper's Bones 2 Kickstarter sent to the front door. We're going to open it and see what's inside. I already cut it open and made it a little easier to start with. So, let's see what's inside. Alright, so I only got the basic one. I didn't get two. I didn't get extras or anything. So I'm gonna pull that out. And we'll in there. Let's see what we got. First, we got a thank you note from Reaper and Reaper Bones. Your support and faith in us throughout this process has been wonderful. Thank you for believing in us from everyone at Reaper. And they all signed it. So that's really nice of them. Rather if they signed it or signed it once and then mass printed them. Either way, it's a nice gesture. It's like when you get a book signed by everybody that was involved with the book. We got a taped up brown paper bag. Little plastic noises. I already cut it, but I didn't look inside. And it is... Well, it is bases. Lots and lots of bases. So, I actually find that amusing. A brown paper bag full of bases. This actually should have been what... The, the uh, stretch goal should have been called Brown Paper Bag of Bases. So let's put that aside and get to the main box, which I didn't open. I just cut the tape off the top. So we got the Bones Reaper. The Bone Sylvania Kickstarter corset. Let's open it up and see what's inside. If anyone remembers the first Kickstarter, it's probably a bunch of bags. Or, hopefully, there's a bag one, bag two, bag three. Three bags. So we got three bags of miniature goodness. Although they're not individually bagged like in the first Kickstarter, they are pretty much singularly bagged. So we'll open these, spread some of them out. Not all of them, of course. I don't have that much death space. And we'll take a closer look. And then we'll, then we'll come back back. So we're back after we open some, pick some pieces out so we can see see some a little closer up. Uh, the only pieces that were bagged separately are the ones with multiple parts that weren't already pre-assembled of some kind. So we have like the the ground monster. Just the ground. And then what would I call a roper? The living stalactites, stalagmites. However you want to play those. That was pretty cool. And then in the, f the first bag was basically the, the, the pledge level itself. And the other two secondary bags were all the extras added on later in the Kickstarter. So the first bag had all the normal stuff. I kind of like the... The wear shark. We have here. It's pretty good. Lighting's a bit bright, but... Should be able to see it. And he'd be good for like an underwater campaign, along with a bunch of a lot of this. A lot of stuff in this one seemed to uh, underwater themed, which was really cool. Like this guy, this angler, this angler fish knight. And he would, and he seems pretty cool. So the bones in general. 
seem pretty nice for RPG figures. Like, they bend really easily. They take paint really well, too. Um, just some sometimes when you get, like, staffs, they never seem straight. You have to, like, melt the arm or uh, heat the arm in hot water to get it to a position where it looks nice. But on that, uh, here's a bone golem or a 20 skeleton or something. I don't know what this is, actually. It's just a bunch of skeletons together. There's a little animal skeleton right there. Right there. You can see it. So it's not just normal skeletons, it's just a conglomerate of bones. You got the, the Overload Lich. Guy. Overlord Lich guy. Some some of the dungeon decorum that they had. Some barrels, some boxes, some bags of treasure and some pots. The the two really nice pillars. One looks like the pillar of death and the other one looks like pillar of, of heaven or pillar of heaven and hell or however you want to call those and some other ones like <clears throat> Mr. Bones himself with a sack of bones and a little basilisk it's pretty cool looking another underwater themed thing it's like a mermaid, but it could just be an underwater nymph, or just a water nymph in general. A nice, a big monster. Look at that grin. That grin's nice. Reminds me of the Bulletti, which I assume this is what this is supposed to be. But that smile. He'll eat your face. And a nice little Nice little extra, little little brain crab, whatever this is. It works, right? Brain crab. All right, that's that's pretty much it for the, the Reaper Bones Kickstarter two, Bone Sylvania. All right, guys. I'll catch you later.